Hello and welcome back to another video and an update on our lovely GR Yaris. This car handles absolutely amazingly out of the box, but as you know, there's always some room for improvement and we've always been happy with the Bilstein B16s on our other cars. So we do run this on around three of our project cars and I was really curious to see what they'd be like on the Yaris. So I'm not strong enough to actually hold this box. The kit is over there. So my lovely assistant Aston is going to wheel that in for me. Thank you, Aston. Bilstein don't officially make a kit for the GIRS. This kit was designed by NTP, who are the Bilstein distributor for Italy. So effectively, they are Bilstein Italy. Much like Bilstein UK helped us develop a part for the E92 M3 that Bilstein don't actually made, NTP have designed these from the ground up using Bilstein components. So the dampers are Bilstein. They're very familiar compared to the other B16s we've seen. And they've also used IBAC ERS springs. So these are the highest quality springs that IBAC make. So let's have a look at the kit in a bit more detail. The front damper is an all-in-one coilover. So you've got the height adjustment here and you've got the rebound and compression control on here. So the way Bilstein B16 work is you've got the height adjustment, you've got the rebound and compression, but the rebound and compression is done on one click and that's preset by Bilstein in terms of what you get on each of the adjustments. The rear setup is separate. So you've got the separate damper here with the adjuster on the bottom and a top mount. And on the rear setup, the spring is separate. So you've got the height adjustment separate from the damper itself. I'm really curious to see what this kit is going to be like to drive. So let's get it on the car, take the car out and see what it's like on our B roads that we have around here.
So Aston has fitted the Bilstein B16 coilover kit to our GI Yaris. Installation was pretty straightforward, which is what I'd expect from a company like Bilstein. We haven't gone too crazy on the lowering. I want to retain the ride height at around here. NTP who developed the kit told us 25 to 35 mil is optimal for road use. And they've also given us the settings of three for the front dampers and three on the rear dampers. I'm really excited to see what this car drives like because it does handle really well anyway. I'm looking forward to getting a professional geo set up on it at some point. But for now, let's take it on the road and see what it's like. Join me back in the car. I have been driving the Yaris around for a few days to get a feel of the new suspension. And I can say it's very good and very entertaining. Let's be honest, the Yaris doesn't really need a suspension upgrade for the road, but with this Bilstein kit from NTP, oh my God, it's just taken it up a notch. It's got so much more grip, so much more contact with the road on these big compressions here where that would car would have got air. It's not getting air anymore. It's just Yaris times like 10 or 15%. It's still riding very nicely, so a lot of just the spring kits ruin the ride on this car. This is still actually very smooth, especially at speed. What I would probably say is um, at lower speeds, you can feel that the suspension is slightly stiffer. Uh, we have set the suspension at NTP's recommendation, which is three out of 10, which is on the softer side. I haven't tried to, but if you wanted a bit more comfort, you could try that setting but what they've told me is that this is the best balance of comfort and handling for road use so they did develop this kit for time attack in italy and they also have recommended us some settings for track days and they said that it dials out a lot of the understeer so when we get a chance, we will take our little Yaris onto the track to see what it's like. So let's just go down to a more normal speed. And yeah, I would say you can feel that something has been changed in the suspension. You can feel it's a little bit stiffer. So you, you're giving up a tiny bit of comfort, but when you're actually going for a proper B-road blast, you can, feel the improvement that this kit has made to the car it just feels a lot more stable feels like i can carry a lot more speed through the corners and i haven't lost any of the fun elements of this car which i was slightly concerned about i'm going to head over to the other section of road that we normally use and see what it's like on that part of the road yeah it's still slightly damp today but the car Everyone knows this Yaris is so good, I keep raving about it. When you're up to a decent speed, the suspension is so stable. I'm super impressed with it. And every car we've put B16s on has been impressive, but I thought that this car would be very difficult to improve on. And I think they have actually managed that. It's just got slightly less body roll through the corners just feels that little bit more stable when you're pressing on a little bit and it's still got really good balance it's still got that gr yaris fun element to it i'm actually really impressed but then this suspension kit is expensive it's around three thousand pounds um, but it's using very high quality parts and it's something of a special project by ntp because Bilstein themselves didn't develop the kit but the new limited edition GRNM that's coming out that's a Japan only release if you look at the specs on that it actually says it uses Bilstein suspension so it'll be interesting to see how different the Bilstein suspension they're using on that production model is compared to what NTP have created but overall I mean even for road use this is fantastic and then you have the ability to change the damping and the ride heights for 
track use as well so you've got the best of both worlds and remember we haven't actually set this car up properly yet with a proper geo this is just running factory Yaris geo setting so there might still be some more improvement that can be made but what a car you know we bought this car for even cherry development and it was meant to be sold after we finished but <laughs> we love this car so much I think it's gonna stay for a little while and on that note I'll say goodbye Thank you so much for watching guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.